That's always quite a spectacle. Folks line up to see that parade downtown and take pictures and mm -hmm. selfies with all the furries. Well, you kind of, kind of get the sense that uh, this is a vacation week. A lot of people seem so to be much. taking yeah. off. Ah. The garage is pretty empty today. Uh, and if so, if that's the case for you, good for you. You have phenomenal weather today and tonight. I didn't see that on my drive into work today. There was still traffic. I was there. I, I was surprised. I, I, I thought was it would be kind of empty. Well, those are the people getting out of town or going somewhere. Maybe they were. I saw the, a lot of campers. Week off. Okay, yeah. I've yeah. seen a lot of campers uh -huh. and motorcycles out. So great weather for that. Take a look outside right now. We are looking at 76 degrees in Pittsburgh right now. Maybe you're hitting the road tonight or tomorrow. It's going to be great for travel around our area too. Next chance of rain really isn't until Wednesday night. 70 in Somerset right now. Butler, you're at 74 degrees. And as as we look outside with that beautiful sunshine. We look back on June. Today's July 1st, and this is the first day in a while. Well, not in a while. A couple of days ago, we were a little below normal, but the first day out of a bunch of them that we have had below normal temperatures. All of these white bars you see going up, those are all days in June. I think I counted 19 of them that we were above normal temperatures. Temper, definitely temperatures in the 90s. Four times we hit 94 degrees. That's very odd for that early in the year. And now today, go figure, we start July with a below normal day. That thanks to that big cold front that's now sitting off the East Coast. High pressure back to the thumb of Michigan. That's giving us a little bit of nice dry airflow tonight. But as it moves off to the east, we'll start to see our weather pattern change a bit. Tomorrow's kind of a transition day. The temperature goes up, but our humidity stays comfortable as we head through Thursday, Friday, Saturday, though, our rain chances, unfortunately, are going to increase. That doesn't mean rain all day, but it means scattered thunderstorms, more of a typical summertime pattern. So here's futurecast dry tonight, hardly a cloud in the sky tonight or tomorrow. Temperatures tomorrow morning will be cool again in the mid to lower 50s, just like this morning. Then Wednesday morning, you'll notice a couple of clouds when you wake up. You'll also notice through the day the humidity starts to increase a little bit more sticky out there. There. Then Wednesday night by around 9 10 o'clock, the first round of a few showers, maybe a couple of thunderstorms overnight into Thursday morning. Here's 4 a.m. on Independence Day. Scattered thunderstorms, and this looks like this will be the pattern through the day. Mainly dry, but you see could be an isolated shower or storm at any point during the day. So Tuesday, 85 and sunny. Wednesday, that humidity really starts to tick up. You'll notice a kind of a little bit of an uncomfortable feeling with the humidity humidity by later in the day with the high temperature of 88. Then as we head toward Independence Day, well, in the morning, scattered showers, as we said, and then uh, it looks like around lunchtime in through the late afternoon, just a pop up thunderstorm here and there. I'd say don't cancel your plans. Just have a backup plan. Maybe if you're going out, take a poncho with you or an umbrella. If you're having a picnic, make sure there's a place that you can jump under cover or go inside for a little bit if you get a thunderstorm popping up. And then as we head toward fireworks time, uh, isolated shower or storm possible, but hopefully things will calm down by then. We'll keep you posted as we get a little closer, get a couple of more uh, model runs of future cast under the belt here. Friday 86, that unsettled pattern sticks around an isolated shower or storm at times Friday and Saturday. Friday looks like the better chance for any of those uh, rounds of rain. Then Sunday, mostly sunny 85 and Monday we stay right there in the mid 80s.